This presentation introduces the group of elements known as the halogens. By the end of the presentation, you should know what elements we mean by the halogens. You should know their formula as an element and the bonding that they show as an element. You should also be able to recall from memory uh, their appearance and state as elements at room temperature. And then you should be able to talk about the ionic compounds that they can form with metals. So the halogens are group 7 in the periodic table, shown here highlighted in red. And that includes the elements fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine, also astatine down the bottom. Though you really won't hear about astatine, it's very radioactive, uh, short half-life, it's hardly around for any amount of time, you can't really um, study it very much. Um, so the ones to concentrate, especially on the AS course, are the chlorine, bromine and iodine is what we'll look at most Notice that their formula um, is always this something 2, so F2, Cl2, Br2, I2, uh, and so on. And you do need to be able to recall that from, mem from memory. The reason for the formula is that they occur as elements um, at, as diatomic molecules. Now that just means two atoms uh, bonded covalently together to make a molecule. So if we think about bromine, Br2, uh, we can draw a dot-cross diagram something like this. There'll be one shared pair between the two bromine atoms, and then each bromine atom has three lone pairs of electrons. Uh, just be careful, though, that is only um, when the halogen is as an unreacted element, not in a compound. Um, in a compound, you don't get the Br2 molecule anymore, and the same for the other halogens. Um, so as an example, calcium bromide, CaBr2, people often make a mistake here and think this is calcium with a Br2 molecule. It's not. Uh, we're in an ionic compound now, um, so instead of a Br2 molecule, we, this is saying that we've got two bromide ions. As well as their formula, for each of chlorine, bromine and iodine, you do need to recall from memory their physical state and their appearance in terms of colour at room temperature. So let's, let's go through them one by one. Uh, if we start with chlorine, uh, chlorine at room temperature is gas and it's described as green. If we move on to bromine, bromine at room temperature is a liquid and it has a very dark red-brown colour. What you see in the tube there, um, actually the liquid is the bit at the bottom and it's so dark it actually looks black here but if you slosh it around against the light you'd see this red-brown colour. Finally iodine. Iodine at room temperature is a solid and it has a black colour. It's a sort of shiny uh, black appearance, but you can just say black. So uh, these three halogens with their physical state and colour at room temperature need to be memorised. The halogens as elements are very reactive and they'll react directly with metals to make a straightforward ionic compound. And these are known as the metal halide compounds. Halide is a sort of general term for any of the halogen ions. Uh, and it shouldn't be too hard for you to work out um, a sort of balanced equation for that reaction. So taking sodium and chlorine, they'll react to make sodium chloride. If you've been keeping up with the course, you should be able to write the formula for sodium chloride based on the uh, charges in the, on the ion and so forth. So pause the video at this point, just see if you could work out the formula of the product, sodium chloride, and then write a balanced equation to show the reaction. So you should have come up with this, the formula of sodium chloride, NaCl, and hopefully you remembered that chlorine as an element is Cl2. So in order to make a balanced equation, um, we can react two sodiums with the one Cl2 to make two sodium chlorides. You could, of course, equally correctly have, have written just one Na uh, reacting with half a Cl2 to make, uh, sodium, to make one sodium chloride. Uh, what about calcium and bromine? There's another little opportunity for you to test out this idea. Pause the video again, uh, see if you can come up with the product, its formula, and write a balanced equation for the reaction. And here we're making calcium bromide, which is CaBr2, um, and so a slightly simpler balanced equation in terms of the balancing. We'll just quickly check that we understand uh, what's meant by halide ion. The halogens group seven, seven outer shell electrons in the atoms. Uh, so when they form ions, uh, they gain one electron to get up to the stable eight. Gaining electron makes you negative. One electron gained a one minus charge. So all of the halogens form these one minus halide ions. 
uh, and they have this ide ending, as most non-metal ions do, right? So chloride, bromide, iodide, Cl minus, Br minus, I minus. Finally, uh, just to test how you've been getting on with what you're supposed to memorize here, um, if you were presented with uh, these three substances and told that they were halogens, uh, you ought to be able to pick out uh, which one is which halogen. So pause the video and just make sure you can do that. Hopefully you decided the black solid was iodine, the green gas was chlorine, and the red liquid was bromine.